Hey, how are you all and welcome back to yet another amazing video and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how you can optimize your AMD graphics card for CS2. A lot of you guys are playing CS2 using AMD graphics and high chances are that you might have not set it correctly and you guys are facing performance issues. In this video, I'm going to be walking through all of the best Windows settings as well as the best game settings to optimize the performance of CS2 using AMD graphics. So with all that said, let's get started with the intro. Alright, step number one is the best Windows settings and for that simply search for settings on your PC and once you're over here, come down to gaming. Head over to game bar and simply disable this thing. It is an overlay service and using that can give performance issues. Simply turn this thing off, go back to gaming, head over to game mode and turn this thing on. It will help you to optimize your PC by turning things and applications off in the background, allowing you to improve your FPS. Then click on the graphics button over here and this is the most important part. Enable optimizations for windowed games and then click on advanced graphic settings and default high performance GPU. Go with your native graphic card. Don't select your CPU based graphics, but use your hardware graphic card over here. Then click on add desktop app button and then go to the download location of CS2. Simply select your game, head over to the game folder, then bin, win64 and select cs2.exe and then click on the add button that is already added. Scroll down to find it and select the game. Then for the GPU preference, select high performance over here and then simply close your settings. Next step is using hone.gg to optimize the performance of your PC. Simply go to the link in the description below and download hone for your PC. Hone is a super useful all-in-one PC optimization tool that can help you to optimize your PC in a few single clicks. First things first is always create a backup. Click on create a new backup and name it something and save it on your PC. Head over to the optimization settings and then you need to enable these options. Optimize Windows Power Plan, Disable Transparency, General Windows Optimization and Windows Timer Resolution. All of these things will help you to disable unwanted power saving features on your PC and optimize the performance drastically. Then you have to click on Disable Windows Game Bar and Disable Hibernation. Scroll a bit down and click on Optimize Mouse and enable game optimization and IO operations. Other than that, head over to the games section and then you'll find all of your games installed on your PC. If not, it will auto detect them. In this list, you're gonna have to scroll down and find CS2. Select your game and then click on best performance over here. And then click on activate optimization. This will apply all of the best optimizations available for your game to improve your FPS drastically. Once it is done, simply click on close. I have left a link to download hone.gg on your PC and check it out for yourself. Try it out right now. Next step is updating your AMD graphics card drivers and for that open up your browser and look for AMD drivers. Select the first link that is drivers and support for processor and graphics and right over here click on download windows drivers. This will install AMD Radeon software on your PC. Simply right click on any empty area and open up AMD software adrenaline edition. You can also search for it and open it up. Once you're over here, you'll be on the home page and always make sure that you are up to date with your drivers. After that, head over to the gaming section and then under the games, find CS2. Select that and then you have to set your gaming experience. I have gone with custom over here. For the Radeon Super Resolution, you guys can go with enabled borderless full screen. Then you'll see resolution override. Simply slide this thing to 1366 by 768. That should be 16 is to 9. This will upscale your gameplay to improve your FPS. For the AMD Fluid Motion Frames, this will help you to boost your FPS by using frame generation, but it will also add a ton of input latency. You guys need to keep it disabled. If super resolution is causing any kind of issues, simply turn this thing off. For Radeon anti-lag, simply turn this thing on. Radeon chill should be turned off. Image sharpening should be turned off. Enhanced sync should be turned off. After that, click on the advanced settings. And for the anti-aliasing, use application settings. Anti-aliasing method should be multi-sampling and morphological anti-aliasing should be turned off. Anisotropic filtering should be turned on and the filtering level should be set to 2x. For the texture filtering quality, set it to performance and surface format optimization, disable that. Tessellation mode should be AMD optimized and OpenGL triple buffering should be disabled. After that, you'll find AMD FreeSync, go with AMD optimized. Scaling mode should be global setting and integer scaling should be disabled. For launch with AMD iFinity, turn this thing off and custom color should be turned on. For the saturation, you guys can go with anywhere between 120 to 140 to boost your colors. Then display color enhancement, go with disabled and color deficiency correction, go with disabled. Once that is done, head over to your record and stream settings and then 
go over to the settings button. Ensure that you are not using any kind of recording settings over here. Make sure that all of them are turned off. Recording consumes a lot of GPU usage in the background that might be causing FPS issues or reduced FPS. Disabling that will help you to optimize your performance. Then head over to the performance tab and then head over to tuning. Scroll all the way down until you find AMD Smart Access Memory and ensure that this is set to enabled. Once that is done, head over to the settings gear and then go over to audio and video. Over here for the video profile, go with enhanced and then head over to the preferences tab and then disable in-game overlay, web browser, advertisements, toast notification and tutorials. Also disable always on top and animations and effects over here. Once all of that is done, close your AMD software. Next step is creating a restore point and for that simply search for create a restore point on your PC and once you're over here look for your local disk C. Click on the create button and name it CS2 just so you can remember it. I highly recommend you guys now to skip this step if you want to restore all of your settings back to normal without any kind of data loss. Once that is done simply click on close and close system properties. Next step is CS2 AMD optimization pack I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below. Simply download and open this thing up and you'll find in four very simple folders. First one is CS2 priority in which I have left all of the priorities for your game. To apply this priority you need to leave your PC specs down in the comments below and I'll be telling you guys which priority you need to apply right over here. Second one is latency tweaks which helps you to reduce input latency. Simply right click and run both of them as administrator and the first one will help you to disable memory compression which consumes a lot of RAM resources in the background. Second one is latency tweaks which helps you to disable all of these settings which are responsible to induce input latency while you're playing the games. Ensure that both of them are run as administrator and once that is done go back head over to the third folder which is AMD GPU optimization in which I have left these three very useful registry files to optimize your AMD GPU's performance. Simply double click to apply every single one of them and that should set the correct D word values for your graphic card to optimize the performance. The fourth folder is Windows optimization tweaks in which I have left these three tweaks which will help you to disable DVR and increase your power efficiency. Run every single one of them and once that is done, simply close it. Now you guys can open up your game and drop into the game with the best in game setting. Alright, once you're in your game, head over to the settings gear and right over here, make sure that you're always playing on full screen mode. Click on apply changes over here and you are always set to full screen. Then for the refresh rate, go for the maximum refresh rate available for your monitor. Head over to the advanced video settings and then boost player contrast should be set to enabled. VSync should be disabled. AMD and lag I have set this thing to enable because it has given me better performance but if you are facing any kind of input latency or FPS drops turn this thing off then come down under the presets and then for the current video preset don't change it from here multi sampling anti aliasing mode go with none for global shadow and dynamic shadows set this thing to sun only and low then for model and texture detail go with medium Texture filtering mode, I have gone with anisotropic 8x but you guys can go with anisotropic 2x as it is the most stable one. For shader detail, go with low, particle detail low and AO should be set to disable. High dynamic range, I have set it to quality but if you guys have a low end PC, go with performance and Fidelity FX Super Resolution, if this is available to you, go with balanced or quality, both of them works absolutely fine. Once you're done with these settings, you guys can now drop into the game with the highest FPS possible. So guys, that was it for this video. I hope I could have helped you out. If I could have, make sure to do leave a like and smash that subscribe button because we are really close to 250,000 subscribers. I trust you all and will see you in another amazing video. Until then, stay tuned. Keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.